it is another beautiful Mun Munich Monday morning, Monday morning in Munich, Monday yeah. Munich morning, something of that that sort. Andrew is the sleepy boy. He made noises at the camera. He's unhappy. Alex is our wonderful. Oh, hi Siri. Alex is our wonderful Flughafen Kluber or or Fluber. Well, hello there, bud. German Siri has decided to say hi. We are venturing to the airport. Google Maps is broken once more. <laughs> yes, of course it is. <laughs> oh. It's a very good start to the morning today. And now after much morning Autobahn traffic, we have made it to the airport. There's the Lufthansa Express bus. Oh god, there's a lot of people there. Um, yes, we are a taxi now, apparently. Ooh. Yes, we are. Yes. It's so early. It is quite early. I shouldn't have come this early. My plane hasn't even left Athens yet. Ah, well, you know. Now we are in amongst the taxis. I think you're just a big taxi. Yes. Taxi Pullmax. Another Lufthansa first class has been acquired. I am in 1A. You are also in, also 1A, in 1A, but on a nice Aegean flight on a brand new flug. It'll be nice and clean and shiny. I'm very excited to see, I hope the dock is different today. Oh wait, wait, should we go have a look at the... Ah uh, yes, we will go to the world shop. Is that A340 or A380? Which one? That one. That's a 340. 340. 600. Many flug. My flug. I flug soon. Much flug, much good. Now time for Munich train. Munich train, not good. My lounge is here. Yes, Unfortunately, yes. with the Germans being very German, Andrew can't come with me. And you know, it's funny because I think our flights are spaced like five minutes apart. I think so. What's, that, what's your boarding time? Um, let's well, see. 11.20 is my boarding. Well, mine's 10.45. Ah. And we leave at 11.15. Ah, I leave at 12.05. Well, so goodbye, Mr. 50. Vidal. Well, goodbye, yes. yes, I, I will not... see him on July 6th in Amsterdam. He can visit that back later. Yes. Different problem. But yes, for now. Bye. I'll see to Zen. God, my hair, I look like a lesbian aunt. The wonderful coffee, which has ice cream and other such magical German things has come. This is going to be a very good feast of food. I've also found my mic, so I'll be less loud. There are people in here. The Flamkuchen looks very, very good. It's much better. Then actually, this is honestly about as good as one Alex made. But it looks very good. I think this is regional, more to like the Frenchish areas of Germany. That's very good. I'm gonna eat this now. Goodbye. You even have a bit of a green smoothie. I do have everything. I'm gonna get champagne of some kind and take a bath soon because that sounds quite nice. I probably shouldn't be here again, but I have a duck, I have rose, and I have the Lufthansa first class bathtub. So I've got a bathtub, rose. A shower as well, so this should be, honestly, quite a good time. I love the whole concept of having a bathtub and a lounge more. Lounges should do that, but unfortunately, almost none of them do. I think Lufthansa is perhaps the only, maybe Qatar, some of the Middle Eastern airlines do it. But yes, it's going to be bathtub time. And now my Lufthansa first class bath has been made, so it's, it's bath time for me, because we love the Lufthansa bath. It's nothing better than a little bit of rosé and a rubber duck. The two best stars in the world. <sighs> One bath and shower later and I feel like a new man. Bath was amazing. Shower was, well, a shower. Honestly, more airlines need to do this whole tub, shower suite sort of situation. It's far, far better than anything else any other airline does and makes you feeling clean, relaxed, fresh for a flight. Now, can't be forgetting our friend, the football duck. So time to maybe drink, food, sleep, something, something else. It's honestly really nice. I get to have my laptop, phone, outlets, wine, of course. There's even some stationery in here. Maybe you can take these? I don't know. I kind of want to. I don't think you're supposed to, though. Hopefully this mic will pick stuff up, but yeah. Boarding pass, passport, acquired. Um, it's kind of nice. They have a whole little custom setup in the lounge. So I've been stamped in already. So no issues in that regard. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. It's very relaxed. It's a lot nicer than having to go through your, you know, typical passport control and such. But yeah, 
Well, that's good. Looking forward to the plane. And behind me there is the normal passport control, which is, you know, not busy, but far more of a, a pain, shall I say, than being able to just have the nice lady at the lounge, you know, sort of stamp you in and out. Much nicer. The line, however, to get through document control is quite long. Perhaps waiting in the line was not a good idea. Going to the lounge would have been better. The line is very long. Dislike. Kind of comically, once more, I'm one of the first people on the A380. It's right over there. Quite looking forward to this. I love the big old flug and the nice first class as I struggle to clip this mic onto myself. But yes, should be very good. Should be a nice flight. I'm not looking forward to taking, well, I'll just let that happen, but getting from JFK back to my apartment. It's better than Newark. The situation in itself isn't amazing. And this is the Chariot, Delta Alpha India Mike November, next to yet another Mike Lima. I've not been on this A380. There's a purple model of it, which is bad because it means I'll buy it, but here we are. So far, only person on the plane. Have my champagne, nuts, water. Very nice. I've got the duck, champagne, everything else. Wonderful view. Very looking forward to take off. There's also no one behind me, so maybe I can use it as a bed. But yes, it's very, very good. Very, very nice. Two empty seats. Won't get a bed like last time, but can't complain. A little bit delayed, but not much of a problem. You know, big seat. Can't complain. No complaints, no comments, no problem. I will forever and always say, it really is like a palace of light in the sky. It's a flying building, it takes a minute and a half to take off. But as soon as it's gone, it, it's smooth, it's big, it's relaxing, and it works phenomenally well. And it's got good lighting on the dock. You always need good lighting on the dock. You can never complain. And once more, I come to you from the kind of loud, but Lufthansa first class bathroom that honestly makes no sense. You're currently propped up on the Airbus optioned urinal that exists for some reason, as I am all the way in the back of the bathroom. It's insane that it's as big as it is. I would have more of a bit about it, but I did the last time. I mean, this whole bench, it's just like, what? You've got all the amenities, you've got other stuff I haven't seen before, the EU don't kill the turtles cup, like, it's just, it's crazy. It genuinely is. And you have the temperature variable water sink. So, I'm gonna use the bathroom now. I just had to do the Lufthansa A380, it's way too big, bathroom review. I mean, even just, this is crazy, I've never been on two of the Lufthansa A380s, MM and MN. Now the thing is, they don't make a model for MM, but they do for MN, but it's an old one, which means now I'm gonna have to buy the Herpa model, and I already bought a bunch of Herpa models this trip, as you will have seen a couple days ago, so it's just yeah, bad for my wallet, but oh, it's so cool. So cool, these bathrooms. It's just, it's so unnecessary. Like, they use actual towels for you to wash your hands with. The Moose Bouche, which is pipe perched, wine, bread, and the garlic bread. The garlic bread is so good. It's been served as well as a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette with the actual, actual balsamic. Not balsamic vinaigrette, olive oil with balsamic. Anyways, very good. Very nice. Very, very good. No complaints from me. Very, very happy. Except they apparently may have not loaded my bags on the plane. It's a problem as I go to Europe in three days. However, we don't know for sure yet. So hopefully they did get loaded and the information just hasn't updated. Moose bouche on bread consumed, only a tiny bit of balsamic spilled. Very, very good. I'm looking forward to the wonderful, well, I'll set the video show it. If you watched the last one, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you won't, but you'll see it in just a little bit. Now, with the briefest of intermission, very nice class of service, very nice plane, not that old, very nice view, but no Wi-Fi. I can't go online. They also, I can't even check if my bag is or isn't lost. There's air tags in them, but I can't check because no Wi-Fi. I guess it's just time to eat more food and have more Riesling. Caviar has been given. Nice big portion of it, creme fraiche, egg white, the other stuff, forget the name of it. It's very good. And some toast for the caviar. And it's a big portion because we're not full and not everyone has taken the caviar. So I'm very happy they used the whole container and I got like a quarter of it. So this is an unbeknownst of money, unbeknownst amount of money worth of caviar. So thank you, Lufthansa. Now I've moved on to the remainder of the starters, veal, burrata, 
lobster. The lobster is very good. More water, more wine. Very, very, very good. The lobster is always amazing. So I've now been served the Lufthansa Avionic, which is their sort of take on Aperol. It comes in two versions, a mix that you still have to put the tonic water in and pre-made, which has the tonic. This is the pre-made, which has the tonic, but isn't quite tonic sparkling enough. So they gave me tonic water and this Lufthansa bread. Now the bread is fascinating because they basically engineered bread that rises at altitude. Apparently, the bread is not quite as good today because it was very cold from the catering department, so it didn't really rise, and I guess the bottom's a little soggy, but it's absolutely fascinating to see bread that's basically engineered for planes. I didn't think you could engineer bread, but Lufthansa has. I mean, leave it to the Germans to engineer bread. Apparently what... This is apparently what engineered bread looks like. It's got a little topping, you can see the dimples on it, but it rises at altitude, and it's supposedly good. This one might not be good because it's mushy at the bottom, but it seems... It's a little cold at the bottom, but it seems fine. They said the bread from the oven was better, which that bread was very good, but I'm fascinated to see what this actually tastes like. First bite impression. It's... It's different. I think this was not made properly, as she said, but I think there's a lot of potential for engineered rising at altitude bread. Again, just weird to think that that's a thing, but it's quite cool. It's also interesting because it's pre-baked, so they don't actually put it in the oven, it just sort of rises, and then you eat it. Probably they start it too cold, so you not as great now, but yeah, it, it, it's not baked at all. It just rises at altitude. I've been served the main. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna... This is a lot of food. The beef looks very good. Very, very good. This doesn't look like something you'd get on a plane. I have an absolutely amazing cheese plate. It's got like five kinds of cheeses, crackers, nuts, other stuff. Just very good. And this really sweet, amazing dessert Riesling that will go great with it. I still have the depression bread off to the left. But oh, very, very happy. I love wine and cheese. My wonderful Lufthansa first bed has been made. I am in it. I'm about to close the last of my three window shades and hopefully have a great sleep for four or five hours as we continue on our way to JFK. I really do love the bedding, the blankets, the everything. It's soft, plush, and phenomenal. It was a good sleep. I'm awake now. I've only had one cup of coffee. I really want to. I'm not super hungry, but I've had some little ice cream fruit things. I don't know where we are because the Wi-Fi still doesn't work. But ever closer to JFK. We are inching our way there. Kind of tired. I really want that second cup of coffee, but it's been a very lovely flight. It's very nice. You know, haven't made a huge mess in my little sweet thingy. The light's coming through the cabin. It's quite good out. Quite good indeed. Begun our approach into New York City. It's been a lovely, lovely flight. Not looking forward to the hour. It'll probably take me to get home and through customs, and hopefully my bags are there, but it's been a lovely flight so far as we now dip in below the clouds. Bags at the air train. It's too hot. This is too heavy. Hopefully, I'll be home within an hour. That would be, be nice. Not realistic, but nice. <laughs> too many bags. Don't like the train. Should have taken an Uber, but it would have been so much money. So I do this instead. Oh, I don't like this train station or the train or anything. Oh. 